Hello people, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> uh, it's been a while, or it's uh, it's been a minute, as the uh, as the youth say today. Um, and uh, ironically, I think that means it's been ages. Um, but yeah, it has. It's been like I don't know what two months maybe. Um, yeah, I've just been doing other bits and pieces, um, trying to get on with bits. So yeah, videos have been really slow, but there you go. That's uh, that's that, that's how it is, and that's that's how it goes sometimes. But um, I'm just this uh, again. This is not a makey video or anything. This is just going to be a um, kind of an update on the Suzuki. Really, uh, she's finished, completely finished after owning this bike for i think about 10 years i think i've had this about 10 years um, and i only intended to do a quick sort of you know a quick makeover of it and then use it I, um it, it was a, a track bike so i brought it to do track days on and uh me being me it kind of escalated massively uh, into like a full strip down and and everything and then other projects came in in front and then we moved house uh, twice and uh, yeah, you know, so it just got put on the back burner and, uh, and, and just kind of looked pretty sorry for itself. But it's done now and it looks mega. Um, I love it. it looks, I'm so pleased with it. So, um, yeah, I'll just I'll just do you a little walk around, really. Um, I can only do one side because... I've had to put it in the garage where I can kind of, uh, where where the light's not too bad because it's, uh, yeah, it's not great. Um, low production again. Nothing's changed, has <laughs> it? Right, okay, so as you can see, this is a Suzuki GSXR. It's a 750. It's a W plate, 2000. Um, and it was pretty much the last ones that uh, that they made in the um, in the S Red model before they went over to the um, to the Y model. Or, sorry, not the Y, the K model. So it then became sort of K one, K two, and and you know blah blah blah. But um, but yeah, so this this was the uh, pretty much the last um, the last S Red model that they done. And uh, yeah. Don't she look pretty? Trying to keep the camera from wibbly wobbling. It's because I'm excited. I'm excited to see you all. <laughs> but yeah. Um, more commonly known by some people is the bumblebee because of the bumblebee bum. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look. Let's um let's start we'll start at the front. So um basically the whole bike's been stripped down completely engine out um, the engine's never been a part uh, again i don't really like to pull them to bits if there's no need um, it's a strong engine she um she still pulls well um, it's done i was going to show you them but it's switched off it's done thirty-eight thousand miles um, it's been off the road like i say for 10 years um but yeah so it's on thirty-eight thousand miles it's had four owners from new which is which is quite nice um but yeah so it's it's um yeah it's a, it's a nice old thing like i say it was completely stripped to the bare frame the frame was painted because they're usually um silver with like an anodized sort of finish on them um so yeah so the frame was done black as you can see, stating the obvious again. <laughs> um, and it also, when I when I got it, it had the K series bodywork on it, and it had been done really badly, and it was it was horrible. I'll try and put a picture in um, if I can find one. I'll st I'll stick one in. Right there you go. I don't know why I paused. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's start at the front because I'm rambling already. So we've got, uh, this is all fiberglass bodywork, although it's quite hard to tell actually. Fiberglass is usually quite sort of ropey, but obviously me being me, it's um, it's slightly nicer than, not you know, nicer than usual. Um, 
uh, in the opening titles, I think I'm painting uh, part of the sort of top fairing. Uh, that was a few years ago now. <laughs> but yeah, so so yeah, so we've got five gloss body work, work on it. Uh, we've got original screen um, because I prefer them to the double bubble screens and the tinted screens. Um, in there, we've got a that there you go is um the harris that is a harris k1 uh fairing brace um it's got gear indicator down there just down there but it doesn't work um but that's just a bit of a fad for people that don't know uh, what gear they're in um yeah and we've got uh fiberglass um these are Yoshimira, Yoshimira, whatever it is, um, race ducts, they're copies. Um, so then down the front, we've got uh, the, the forks have um, been done by KTEC, so they've got KTEC uh, fork internals. Uh, original calipers, again painted, everything's been painted. The, the disc carrier, the, the bottom of the forks, um, you know, mudguard calipers. Um, I can't remember what pads are in them. I think maybe double H's. And a lot of people kind of um, slate the brakes on these. But when them pads get warm, I tell you what, they, they do bite really well. Um, so I, you know... I, I haven't really got a problem with them unless you're unless you're a real hero I you know I, th I think they're pretty good but yeah they they bite pretty well and they're pretty good and I'm sure they're double H's um, but yeah I can't can't hundred percent remember um, yeah so we've got um, got all the stickers on as well uh, we've got so the reason the bottom of the fairing is cut out is is to miss the exhaust so this exhaust, um, if we can see in there, is off of the, again, I think this was the K1000 exhaust and they were titanium. So it's got the K1000 exhaust on, which goes up to the link pipe and then up to an original Yoshimira, I think, what were they called? Tri, um, trioval, tri, trioval or something. Uh, because they're basically kind of triangular. Um, uh, yeah, it goes on to the to to the Yoshi uh, end cam. Again, all all genuine that, so it's nice. Uh, we've got crash buns, which are always handy. Uh, again, everything's been painted. The, you know, the radiator was was painted. Um, you know, bar bar ends, top top yoke. Um, everything that I could clean has been cleaned and sort of polished. These were these were um, cleaned up really nicely, but they've they've corroded down a little bit more again. Um, I'll have to kind of do them. And again, this is not this is not a show bike by any means. This was always meant to be a track bike. It just got slightly out of hand. Um, but you know, I do try and do half decent. You know, if, <laughs> kind of fit and finish to anything. Uh, we, you know, all the bolts are sort of, um, you know, the the heads are nicely sort of polished on the bolts and whatnot. Um, the bolts that I've replaced as, as such. Um, but yeah, so it, it's um, it's a it's a pretty nice thing really. Um, what else have we got? So we've got Dan Moto rear sets, which are quite nice. Again, all this is. Um, you know, this is like proper old school stuff. Um, I suppose this is, you know, these are probably 15 years old. Um, excuse me, the, the same as, um, you know, the Harris, excuse me again, the Harris um, exhaust hanger, you know, original Harris exhaust hanger on it. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's got some nice little bits on it. Um, so the paintwork on it again it's not show standard finish but 
it's still quite nice you know it is you know see it's it's pretty good even my kind of track paint work is probably nicer than a, a lot of stuff out there um yeah i don't i'm not being sort of big headed i i just like stuff to look nice even you know even on like you know on a track hack as such but it's all painted by the way it's all it's all all lined all lined and lacquered over um the uh the the number boards aren't lacquered because they're just a satin finish um but everything else it's all it's all lacquered over and whatnot uh apart from the the lower stickers actually on on the fairings um i've not lacquered them over i'm just going to leave that you know i need to need to need to stop somewhere on it but yeah so uh so yeah this was a replica of the 2000 cert SERT race team um endurance bike um yeah so that's where we've got this from and i actually think the color schemes work really really nicely on it it's, it, it looks lush the worst thing for me is i can see looking you know through the through the picture that it doesn't it doesn't even do the bike any justice that's the most annoying thing um it looks so much better in the flesh but but there you go um but yeah so again sort of all the bolts i've i've tried to sort of clean up the best i can and anything that's stainless steel we've just sort of polished i don't think you can see that really uh you know things like that yeah just little details that don't really cost anything it's just your own time um i think it just you know it just makes a little bit of a difference um so we come to a swing arm which is possibly one of my actually i've got lots of favorite bits on this bike but the swing arm is really nice um it it's been um all the anodized finish has been blasted off of it and it's all been rubbed down uh, by hand as a brushed finish and then we can see there down in there that's all been braced which is done really really nicely um, I'll try and stumble over to the other side hang on a sec right okay so the light's not great here but you can see that gusset that's been put in there and it's really really nicely done that was my uh my mate richard done that done a really nice job of it and these um these alley gussets you can see it curves around so they were actually formed over a metal a metal block was um like a die as such was was made for it and then these were formed around it and then welded up so you've got one either side you can't see the other one around the other side but but it's got yeah it's got one either on that side on that side and then welded down the middle yeah so we've got the renfall sprockets in there front and rear we've got a 520 chain uh, i can't remember the make of it um but yeah so it's got the just a slightly smaller chain on it um again calipers are, are all done and painted nicely um you know the caliper bracket again the disc in a in a disc um bits painted but yeah so everything uh everything's had a, a sort of a refresh on it uh just you know just to make it look look nice and nice and clean and fresh so she had a new oil change the other day so we've got some new oil in it um again so we come up to the the, the rear again um underneath we've got the under tray um and then I, no it's too dark but right under there is um a kind of custom under tray uh, to put all the battery under and keep all the clutter 
from hanging any lower than the actual seat unit. So you see that's obviously all all clear under there. Um, so that's that that was all done. So that's custom under there. Uh, again, the rear the rear subframe's been cut and modified. Um, yeah, so there's lots of little bits and pieces on there. Yeah, so I, sp I suppose the most, um, well, not the not the most noticeable thing, but the it, you you don't notice it when you look at the bike on its own, but if it was parked next to another S Rad, you would you would be amazed at how different it looks. Um, basically, I've gone to a, you know a lot of trouble of getting the stance of the bike how I how I like it. Um, it's pretty much bang on as a as like a, a super bike would have sat um but it's all been done with uh kind of sneaky bodywork uh changes and and this and that um so yeah so that that's how it kind of gets its nice sort of stance and, and look um what i will say is the the fairing um, again, the, so the, the screen for the fairing, if you can see that curve there, so that curve there, that part of the screen originally is right up here. So basically I've, I've dropped the whole screen down about two inches. What's that? Yeah, so it's going on nearly two inches. So the whole screen is sitting lower, you know, to get that kind of sleek front, you know, low down look. Um, that's pretty much all I'm going to give away <laughs> on the on the front. Um, and again, the rear, the rear seat. Uh, again, you would never notice this ever unless it was next to another one. But I've actually cut two inches out of the width of the whole of the seat from front to back so the seat's actually two inches skinnier which in turn just shortens it up a little bit not a lot probably only only yeah maybe an inch if that but it just shortens it a tiny weeny bit um but because these have got such a wide seat on them i mean they're massive um it was just too much for me so i just kind of shrunk the seat in a little bit um looks so much nicer i like it you know a lot of people have, a lot of people have you know wouldn't wouldn't touch touch them they're you know they're becoming quite sort of iconic bikes now but um you know that's just me i like to i like to mess anything up um but yeah so we've got the we've got the race foam for the seat uh which again you know it's just it's just rounded off nicely you know if we can make it nicer just by spending a little bit of time rounding it off look we will and then what i do is once i've once i've rounded the seat or the edges i then go over the whole thing with sandpaper and then it gives it kind of a um like a alcantara kind of look to it so um you know, sort of it, it kind of the pile changes as you kind of as you kind of stroke it <laughs> random. Um but yeah, yeah, so so lots of nice little bits and pieces. Again we've got a we've got a quick release well it's not that quick, uh, but we've got like a little race um filler cap there. Uh we've got just a little simple horn button there. Um it's obviously got no lights on it. Um it is just just purely the minimum for for MOT, uh, you know, to get it for an MOT, which I which actually I think is just um, you just you need a horn, and that's pretty much it. I've MOT bikes now at about five different MOT stations, um, and if it's got no lights on it, um, it has to have no lights, so you can't even have a rear brake light, um, but uh basically if it's got no lights they can't be tested and they can't fail um that that's uh, that's how that's kind of how it works 
Um, some people call it a daytime MOT or a day use only MOT. It isn't really. It's 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 just an MOT um, without you know without lights on and not being able to test them. I'm sure lots of people have got their own uh, opinions and their own uh, MOT people that will will um, argue that. But uh, like I say, I've had I've 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 had about four or five different MOT places. MOT bikes with with um, no lights, no problem whatsoever. Um, so I, yeah, I never worry about that. But yeah, so sorry, I've no idea how this is going to look because I'm 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 just looking at the bike and not what I should be doing, which is looking through this thing. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so there we go. Look, um, I think I've kind of covered it all really. Um, the tyres, the t it could do with a new set of tyres to be honest, they're a bit, uh, they're obviously old now, um, but yeah, it, it needs a, uh, it needs a new set of tyres to be, to be, um, you know, to be kind of hammered back on the track, so to speak, um, but yeah, so that's it, that is the Suzuki all done and finished. She sounds lovely and she rides quite nicely and um, yeah it's still 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 pretty quick for an old girl so yeah I'm just yeah really pleased with it yeah so like I say the engine the yeah uh, the engine's um, standard um, it's it's never been opened um, it's just got it's got the exhaust on it um it's got a cane and air filter in it um just a high flow um uh oil filter uh and that's it for the engine and uh i think it, it's about 130 horsepower so it's quite a strong it's quite a strong engine um yeah it goes goes well sounds lovely like i say um but yeah yeah nothing nothing really too tasty in in the engine department just just original and sort of stock um, electrics are all kind of still there um, so if I was to actually put it on the road more if I was to decide to use it more I would definitely fire some lights on it I probably wouldn't put the front light on it but I'd definitely put a brake light on it and indicators uh, but the wiring is all it is all there to 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 do that if 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 I wanted to later on but um but yeah so there you go hopefully uh well a um, yeah, little bit of an insight into the old suzuki that, that we've seen in the background for the past however many uh videos i've been doing occasionally but yeah so yeah good on you suzuki well that's it just uh like i say just a little walk around or side to side of the of the suzuki now that it's finished again i'm kind of I just love how it looks. It looks gorgeous. And like I say, unless you get it next to, um, you know, a, a normal one that hasn't been messed around with by some Wally like me, um, unless you get one next to it, you will never believe how much different, you know, it looks. And the stance on this thing is mega. Um, the other ones were very high. The other ones, you know, the original ones, they're very high in the front and and a lot lower in the back, but all this has been changed by um, kind of messing around with how things sit on the bike. Um, it's not really done with geometry. Um, the rear has been raised slightly, and that was a bit of a thing for these. You used, you used to um, just raise the rear a little bit and just drop the front down. So the rear has been raised by about four mil, and the front is about five or six mil. It just makes them turn quicker, a little bit more lively. Um, but yeah, most of it is done by purely the aesthetics of it. So uh, yeah, lovely thing. Anyway, banging on again. As you can see, this thing, not the light, but uh, although we have got a light, so that is progress. Uh, this thing is, is kind of, uh, nearly ready for final um, strip down actually um, well it is ready to be honest um, 
the next thing I'm going to do on it, I think, is the fuel cap in the in the tank. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of tinkering away as as you know as I get a chance with it. Um, so at the minute, she's kind of dumped on some some wood at the back and crudely held on a paddock stand at the front. Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll perhaps do a little bit more on that in 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 a in a, in a next a next in sort of installment get your words out um but yeah yeah hopefully uh hopefully you've enjoyed that um sorry it's not a making video uh i just i just the problem is i i, I say it I, I keep saying it it takes me so long to do anything if i'm trying to record it because i'm not naturally gifted at production or presenting um <laughs> so it just takes so long and uh, and I don't get you know I don't get anything from YouTube or anything um it's you know it is it is purely just kind of documenting what I'm doing and uh you know you know obviously some of you guys uh find it enjoyable to watch so, so um but yeah anyway yeah rambling so um yeah i don't know when the next video will be um might be in a couple of weeks or a week or or it might be another two months who knows but uh, i will be back so uh stay tuned don't kind of click off of me because uh there's no need i'm not you know i'm not costing you any money just sitting there i'm just just sitting there you know like a like a like a little feather blown away, floating around in the wind. That's all I'm doing, just floating there. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> I see you later, chaps.